Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about set in Dart. With the help of set, you can store unique value inside it. Okay, let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo. Okay, here you can see some information about set in Dart. I will also provide the link in video description. Okay, here you can see list allows use to add duplicate items. In list, you can uh, add duplicate item list contain duplicate items but set doesn't allow it in set you must enter the unique value just like uh, name of day like sunday monday tuesday uh, you can see no duplicate value will occur and name of fruits like apple orange there is also no duplicate value okay here here is the syntax how to create a set in that First of all, you need to write C set and then you need to write a data type and you need to write a variable name and equal to and you can uh, you must write uh, this uh, curly bracket to represent set. OK, let me open my VS code and let's see a complete demo. First of all, let me write our main method. Here is our main method and let's declare set. OK, set of set of string okay you, you can also write var instead of this one i will say fruits is equal to you need to write curly bracket square bracket is for list and curly bracket is for set okay curly bracket then you need to write fruit name okay i will say apple i will say orange and i will say mango mangoes okay okay now let me print this one fruits okay okay if i run this let me run this program okay dot file name is set org dot dot okay here you can see output apple orange and mango okay and uh, i will also uh, repeat apple here and if i run this program here you can see apple came only one time it will ignore this apple here you can see two element in a set literal should not be equal two element in the set should not be equal okay if you are making a program uh, that uh, require uh, unique elements inside it then you can use set in that okay now let's move forward here you can see set properties one property is first it will return the first element in the set another one is last it will return the last element in the set okay let me write fruits dot first okay it will give the first value that is apple and if i say fruit dot last then it will give last value that is mango okay here you can see okay another one is empty is empty is not empty okay if this is empty if this is empty this is empty set and if i say fruits dot is empty then this is true okay if i run this program then this is true and if this is uh, if if this set contains some values if i say is empty then this is false because the set contains some value inside it here you can see okay and then another one is uh, is not empty you can also use is not empty this means fruits is not empty okay this is true if I run this program here you can see true got printed and if I say is not empty and okay you can do uh, you can also remove the items from here and check is not empty okay here you can see false okay in this way you can work with set properties and another one is length it will return the length of set okay you can just write dot length okay and if we have uh, three values then it will 
give output s3 okay length length will give the output s the it will count the value just this is one this is two this is three and it will print the result okay now let's move forward uh, check the available value if you have some value and you want to check that value with that set then you can use the contents method okay okay let me use that one fruits dot contents i will say apple and if i run this program here you can see true got printed if i say fruit dot contain abc okay there is no fruit called abc in this fruits set okay if i run this program here you can see false got printed you can also check for that item is available or not okay now how you can add and remove items in set okay you can use add method to add element to set you can use remove method to remove element from the set okay now let me add i will just print fruits here okay now let me add fruits dot add i will add new fruit call grapes okay and if i run this program that set work dot that okay here you can see one fruit is added to this fruit set okay in this way you can add item and if you want to remove the item then you can use the remove method and if i want here i added the grapes and i will remove fruits dot remove remove i will remove orange okay okay now let me run the program okay okay here you can see apple got printed orange also got printed here i must write orange in capital okay okay this one okay now apple got printed mango got printed and uh, grapes got printed in this way you can also remove items okay and adding multiple elements if you want to add multiple elements to set then you can use add all method okay and you must provide list in uh, that add all method okay now if i want to add uh, two fruits okay then i will say fruits dot add all okay then i need to provide list here one fruit comma another fruit okay okay and then if i run this program then here you can see apple orange mango lemon grapes got printed in this way you can add multiple value inside set okay and if you want to print all the values in the set then you can uh, use for loop any type of loop uh, here you can see for each loop or for in loop is used okay just i will print the individual item okay for that for string fruit in fruits fruits i will say i will just print fruit okay fruit okay now if i run this program here you can see all the fruit got printed in this way you can print all the items in the set okay this is also very very useful if you want to learn loop then you can watch our previous video okay mm, here you can see some set methods in that one is clear clear is used to clear all the elements from the set okay now let me print uh, okay this code print all the fruits i will just say fruits dot clear okay fruits dot clear okay and if i run this program then nothing will be printed here you can see nothing because it cleared all the items of set okay it will remove all the item from the set and another one is difference 
डिफरेंस क्रिएट अ न्यू सेट विथ द एलिमेंट ऑफ दैट आर नॉट इन अदर ओके आई विल शो यू एग्जाम्पल हेर यू कैन सी फ्रूट्स फ्रूट्स वन एंड फ्रूट्स टू ओके ओके आई विल जस्ट कॉपी दिस कोड ओके एंड आई विल पेस्ट इट हियर ओके हेर यू कैन सी फ्रूट्स वन कॉन्टेन्स एप्पल ओरेंज एंड मैंगो फ्रूट्स टू कॉन्टेन एप्पल ग्रेप्स एंड बनाना एंड फाइनल डिफरेंस सेट आई विल हेयर यू कैन सी फ्रूट्स वन डॉट डिफरेंस फ्रूट्स टू ओके एंड इफ आई रन दिस प्रोग्राम इट विल प्रिंट ओरेंज एंड मैंगो हेयर यू कैन सी एप्पल इज कॉमन इन बोथ बट द ओरेंज एंड मैंगो इज नॉट कॉमन इन बोथ हेयर यू कैन सी ओरेंज एंड मैंगो गॉट प्रिंटेड इफ आई सी फ्रूट्स टू dot difference fruits one then it will print grapes and banana here you can see grapes and banana got printed in this way you can use difference method in that okay and another one is element 8 element 8 is used to find by the index number find the element by its index number okay let me find the element by its index number okay let me print if i want to find the uh, orange okay i will just say fruits one dot okay our method is element 8 yeah element 8 okay elements 8 if i want to print uh, apple then the index is 0 orange index is 1 and mango index is 2 i'll say 2 and if i run this program this will print mango okay in this way you can use element 8 and another one here you can see intersection intersection means common in both okay let me run this program fruits to i will say for the intersection you will need to use intersection method okay i'll just say intersection fruits one and if i run this program here you can see apple is common in both so apple got printed in this way you can use set in dart i hope you like this video if you have any question regarding set then comment down below i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end thank you